uh, all of these uh, ordinances have been uh, vetted and uh, discussed and voted upon in our uh, committees. Uh, but because they are ordinances, we always allow uh, for the public to have an opportunity uh, to share uh, its opinion or their opinions uh, on the ordinances that are now before us. So I'm opening up the public hearing on all uh, eight of these uh, ordinances. And we do have uh, two gentlemen who have signed up to uh, speak on these ordinances, and they are uh, Sam Bellamillo and Alex Zimmerman. Gentlemen, you will have two minutes each. I would ask. Two minutes. I will ask to have three minutes, if I may. Uh, all the other Republican um, chair, chairs would let us speak for three in their committees. So it's not. Uh, it's two. Hey, minutes. You have personal. You have but privilege more than to move anybody in. in our county. You know that we provide for two minutes. I was just no, requested. Three minutes okay. Give us. You don't give well, us three I requested because you're a Democrat. I requested, so I just wanted to make sure that was clear. So you're not going to give us three minutes because. No. I, I understand, but there's there's eight agenda items on here. It's not just one that I can speak about right now. So for two minutes, you're making me split up my conversation between eight agenda items. That makes no sense, completely no sense. It's idiotic. So I'm going to spend my time talking about these as a bulk because I have to. I have no other way of talking about this. It's it, you know it's 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 insane to me that you don't open up any of your committees so I can speak about this. You can put them all onto the agenda as a consent because you've all agreed on it together. But that's not. John Q. Public's decision, it's your decision. So then you clump these together in one big mass and I have no opportunity to speak to you individually about each of these in depth. There's no idea that can be expressed between eight items in two minutes that you can understand what we're speaking about. There's nothing. I can't, I, all I can tell you is yes or no on there. But if this is open dialogue for the community to have with their council members so the citizens feel like they have power over the instrument they have created, then you need to open up the dialogue, give more time, separate these out like you do with every agenda item. It makes no sense. I, I, I don't get it. You know, we have, we have a 15 minute public hearing that's gone, so I can't speak about these openly because you, you refuse to allow at this committee, at this uh, uh, council meeting, you know, it's every fourth Monday, but we don't have one this month. Why won't you give the citizens a privilege and uh, put that this week? Why? Because you have too much power, because the family doesn't want to be interrupted while speaking, the children must sit down in these chairs. The 15 minutes you were late today, like you are every meeting, you could have given that to the citizens and allowed them to speak to you openly and freely. Instead, you shove all the agenda items for the consent items into one big bulk and tell us we'll have two minutes. You could have separated these out. You could have given us the 15 minutes that each of you started late. This is upon all of you to start making changes and standing up. Now, one of you are standing up saying this is disgusting behavior 15 minutes late every single meeting. Is I this you showing your I power? I don't want to call your behavior disgusting. No, I'd like to call your behavior disgusting oh. and your funny remark that you just made, which means you consider nothing I just Sir, said. You Thank you very much. Me. You forgot. You work for us. No, we for, work for you. Exactly. Do you understand this? So, uh -huh. I would like to end my conversation with you by telling you this isn't a Senate. You are closer to us. You're not this federal level thing that can exert power onto us. You're in our communities. You eat the same restaurants we eat at, the same places. You, you guys have to start behaving as though you're a community member and not this big authority that demands us to respect you while we demand the same treatment. So please wake up and stand up and do something once. Thank Be different. You. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Zimmerman, it's your turn. Hi, my name is Alex Zimmerman and I represent Stand Up America. And Stand Up America is staying for ordinary people. Mm -hmm. What is we have here right now, from all point of view, from psychology point of view, from business point of view, from political point of view, is a nightmare. I cannot imagine, guys, are you are mentally not capable to understand what is you doing? Almost 10 items for two minutes. No one civilized business. When have a discussion, don't give 10 seconds for each time for explanation. You need to stop in your dirty superpower, what is we have here. If it's a superpower, go for a long time. You acting like organized criminal, like a family. You are a family. You are a criminal. You are a government. And you acting with superpower. We need to stop in the superpower. You as employee. You work for us, 
in everything what is we ask, like everybody in King Country, in each city, in each council, is only for three minutes speech in each council meeting. If we don't have this. Why? Because you want to control your superpower, your dirty superpower. And Republicans give us speeches for the last couple of weeks. Are you a Democrat? Don't give us. Why? Democracy? A Democrat is from word democracy? Are you not democracy? It's a pure tyranny, what is we see from Democrat in this chamber. It's exactly what is happening. You, Chair, a Democrat too, for my understanding, in you in this place for 20 years. What is you? Mentally not capable to understand what is you doing? Or one keep you superpower? So your dirty superpower forever? It's time right now for change, for fundamental change. No fundamental change. Come back to what is we lose. To real America. To constitution. What is we lose with your superpower? It's number one. Number two. We demand so every elected official who have a office in King Country, in Seattle, will speak to everybody four times per year, minimum. You don't speak with people for years. No one judge speak with people. No sheriff speak with people. No prosecutor. Don't Constantine, executive, uh. don't speak for four years, no, to public. Never Q&A. How he can do right, this you're, you're for $200,000? Yeah, Stop in your superpower. Stop in your dirty superpower. Come back to America. Your time is up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else that would like to speak on ordinances 6 through 14? Uh, hearing none, the public hearing is closed, and I call on Councilmember Haig to move these item number 16. Will the clerk please read them into the record? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Item number 16 is proposed ordinance 2012-0473, authorizing the executive to execute an interlocal agreement with the City of Pacific relating to the provision of temporary services and declaring an emergency. All right. Um, now I'd like to open it up. Uh, I'd like to open it up for public hearing. And but uh, I believe Mr. Bellamio uh, and Ms. Zimmerman wanted to speak to this ordinance. Is that correct, gentlemen? Number 16, correct. And uh, again, I ask that you speak specifically to this ordinance in your remarks. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So uh, I'm honored that you uh, wanted me to speak on item number 15 of the previous one about taxes, right. but that's a whole ball of wax that I can't touch. It's too, that's too convoluted, but this one I can touch specifically. This ordinance is speaking about allowing the King County Executive into an interlocal agreement, and the same speech I gave earlier applies to this. He is not required to speak to us or engage with the community, and we need to make it a requirement. You can't let him go into any interlocal agreement until he does this, until he holds a public public hearing and someone can ask him why are you doing this and he responds back with an answer. We need this. We want this. Every citizen needs this right now. This is in our constitution. Actually, it's not that we need it. It's required by our constitution. We don't have a dictatorship. For four years, we can have elected officials be in a position doing as they wish without being required to engage the citizens publicly and openly. This requirement needs to be written in the charter so that way the citizens can have a guaranteed access to their government. There's no reason that he should be allowed to make any agreement unless the people have a voice to say, you are the check and the balance to him, but he's, we are also the check and balance. He's the executive branch and you can make it a requirement for him as well as for yourselves because this isn't just an issue with Dow Constantine, it's an issue with all our council members that it should be required to have a Q&A, not just us spouting off the mouth and hitting a brick wall with our voice. We want to have it come back with knowing what you think about what we said. It's an, it's, it's an interesting paradigm that we're in now that we're operating and citizens are disengaged. We don't have citizens participating here. We have them protesting in the streets because they don't think they can make change in here. But change can happen. It's, it's something that can happen. And you should be standing up making that change. But right now we have the same mentality type of people. Earlier we were speaking about these and ours. That doesn't matter because it doesn't matter what side of the aisle you're on. You're still the same kind of creature. You don't, give, you don't care to allow for public dialogue. You care for the game that's played, to see how many votes you can win. And if you don't speak to the public, you can win even more. Dow Constantine has never once had a public Q&A. That's a smart for political. For four years. For four years. It's a smart political move. Families before us. I mean, it's a smart political move because now no one can say he said this, he did this wrong. He only comes in here and gives presentations to his employees once a month. Well, we're about to have our public comment. He could stay and listen and comment back and sit here with you guys. 
There's nothing against that in your rules. And that, that was our two-minute bill. And if you can Thank get a you. time or a clock so I can understand the time that I am speaking so I can wrap up sooner so I don't go over my time, that All would be right. appreciated. Thank you. Um, Mr. Zimmerman, on the interlocal agreement with the City of Pacific, do you have anything to say? Yeah, exactly. My name is Alex Zimmerman and I represent Stand Up America. And Stand Up America stand up for ordinary people. Yeah, yeah I will talk about only agenda. Okay. We have a CEO, Don Constantin, you know what this mean. Like a king country, we have a, a king, you know what this mean, but he looked to us like a prince, and we're talking about this long time. Um, when he proposed something, you know what this mean. We're supposed to be approved this. We are citizens of United States of America. We have right for us opinion. It's exactly what is you don't doing or stupid stop it doing for last generation totally. I remember twenty five years ago when I come to America, this nice beautiful country. Mm -hmm. Everybody can speak everybody. You stop and doing this. It's much easier right now. You occupied absolutely power in this chamber. You don't give a chance speak every time what is we want. Give us three minutes like everybody doing, if we can speak exactly about what is we want, what is painful for us, what is important for us. You don't give us a chance. You demand what is we speak only about what is you want. But it's totally against Constitution. I'm totally confused. Is this something close to Constitution, what is Abraham Lincoln talk almost 200 years ago? For the people and by the people, where is people? We don't have people. We have a tyranny, a pure dictator, very similar to Soviet Union communist and German Nazi. It's exactly what we have right now. And potentially you're doing exactly the same. Because potentially you steal money and kill people. Because money... I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Because you're not speaking uh, to the issue. I'm sorry, sir. Is there anyone, is, I cut you off, your time is up, because you weren't, you weren't speaking to the uh, ordinance that's before us, and we gave you a lot of lead way. Uh, please, please have a seat, sir. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like uh, to speak about this interlocal agreement we are entering into with the city of Pacific. Seeing no one, the uh, public hearing is closed and I call on Councilman McDermott.